All right, so I finally have Lavos built, formatted out, and everything. And the first thing I gotta say, this is a very interesting frame. I did not think that it was going to be as good it is as it is right now. Like the frame, uh, you don't only really have a lot of tankiness, which you know, with the the Umber build, you have a lot of health, lots of armor. And if you pair that with Arcane Guardian and Grace, you have a tank that is as good as, I want to say as good as something like a Atlas Prime Umber build or something like that. Where you don't even have to use your abilities really to kind of survive. Like you could just stay alive and you know kind of like a lazy Inaros. Basically that's what Lavos is with its defense capabilities. Like the armor is great. The health is pretty great, so not only it's tanky, but it also has pretty, not only pretty good abilities, but also pretty damage dealing abilities. So the first thing we'll look at is the build real quick. The build I ended up uh, being putting on here is technically a three former build. I have a umber former, I had an umber former lying around, so I put one in there. And I put a V polarity and then I put an aura forma just because I had an aura forma also laying around. You could basically turn the aura polarity into a V and put growing power in there. And that's basically the build. So we have the vitality, intensify, and fiber, umbral, uh, because we want as much health as we can because at higher levels, even though like Lavos is pretty tanky, but the armor isn't as good as something like a Atlas or a Valkyr. So you not can't rely on uh, healing with grace if you don't have a lot of armor. So that's why we have that. And that's why we also have Karnas Carapace, which I totally forgot about this mod. I've used it on my Naros to get my 10,000 health in Naros, but I totally forgot about this. This gives you 60% armor and 90% health, which is amazing, especially for Lavos, because it bumps the armor up from like 1400 or 1600 to like 1700 armor, which is really good. And then on top of that, you have Guardian and Grace, which is, you know, just giving you armor and health regeneration. So that's great. Then you have Adaptation, of course, because if you're going to go for a tank frame, you might as well go Adaptation. And then we have Blind Rage and Augur Secrets because we want as much power strength as we can squeeze out of this frame. And we also use a growing power. Uh, which you know gives you like a 25% uh, uh, power strength increase anytime you use status which you know if you have a lava so if you have any weapon you're gonna have that on basically in the entire mission and you have stretch to get a little bit of range uh, now the reason I went for range you could go for duration the reason I went for range because I just like to spread my abilities I'd like to have a little bit more range with my abilities. You can use duration, and duration for Lavos just increases the duration of the status effects, which is kind of useful. Uh, and I would say you could probably do like a little bit, you could put duration in here, or like prime continuity instead of Karanis Carapace. But because I'm going for more of a tanky build it, with abilities involved in it, so I just went for the Karanis Carapace. It just depends on how you use it. I personally just went for this and yeah that's uh, pretty much the build right so how I use my Lavos is basically what I do is I have corrosive on my third so I get my third out there I use corrosive to get uh, my second out there I use uh, corrosive with my second and then I use viral uh, in terms of when dealing with the grenier I use viral because if you have corrosive on Grenier and then you do viral, corrosive and viral has an amazing effect on like Grenier where they just like you know like the old slash procs basically that's what you get with that. And also remember, you're not only doing viral with your four, but you're also doing heat damage. And heat damage is, ha does the kind of damage that slash used to do back in the day. So you have heat then slash then corrosive on top of that and then all the you know you have cold and I think electricity but that doesn't really do much but with these three combo together you can like very easily like kinda nuke a room basically now 
it does rely on you being fast enough because if you don't have duration as I don't not you gotta be a little bit faster with your casting you gotta be very quick with it you gotta cast your third cast your second or cast your second first and cast your third then and then get viral going and then put your four out and get that viral going and then pick off any stragglers that are like gonna be remaining after this I did test it out and it was actually pretty decent it was the only time that it kind of wasn't really working is when I kind of messed up my combos but other than that the build if you just have your combos going which is basically you do your third your second and then you throw out your fourth with viral and it can be different with the you know other factions also so like if you're going like corpus you might want to go you know something like uh i think like meh, what is it um radiation or in gas maybe you want to go that route or you want to go magnetic uh, or if you're doing infestation, you want to go gas and corrosive. So you can spread these um, damage types. And because we have so much power strength, I think we get, I think we cap out about 308 after you get the growing power buff. Uh, it is pretty gnarly. And I'm not going to lie, I took this into Steel Path and I did test it out. And some of the lower, like, you know, the Lancers were dying pretty easily if you had the combo going right now the main problem with this is the frame I think is really suited towards like grouping enemies though if you can group enemies together which you know you could do in a defense mission maybe in a survival mission uh, other missions are not gonna be that easy like I did like a steel path exterminate and I, there was certain times that I was you know getting those fucking insane ticks with the heat and viral and corrosive on an enemy and it was amazing but I wasn't able to really get that consistently in an exterminate mission because you know the enemies are just too spaced out and it wasn't I couldn't do it you know but there is a, I think Lavos seems like a pretty good frame I'm not gonna lie to run on something like a mobile defense I might even try like a defense sortie mission with Lavos just to try it out because it seems pretty nice like you can spread all these status effects and also like you can also do radiation you can do basically any status effect on any of your ability which is the best thing where you can just kind of switch on the fly depending on what faction you're fighting so in that respect I would say Lavos is probably one of the more you know as I said an in interesting frame but also like one of the most effective frames against like factions because you could just basically put anything on there and steel path it did pretty well and I would like I would probably do a little bit of testing on steel pad defenses it's probably not gonna be great honestly because steel pad defense you know the enemies do so much damage and they have so much armor but if I can really get if I could do a little bit of testing maybe with steel pad, I think it should be pretty decent. I don't think it's going to be amazing, but as, as, I would say definitely like a normal level enemy, like a level 100 enemy or something, like a sortie level enemy, you're going to be able to just demolish with uh, Lavos' combos ability. But as I said, you got to rely on your combos. you got to be quick with your combos. That's the only thing that I found out with Lavos now. As I said, tankiness is off the charts. It's amazing. You don't have to worry about dying at all. I rarely use my first ability, which, oh, by the way, first ability does give you lifesteal. Uh, if you do kind of suffer a lot of damage, you could just get all of your health back in like an instant. So I rarely use my first ability that much. And another little side note, if you do think that you want to get rid of one of Lavas's ability, you do lose the, you know, when you hold the ability to get the elemental, you do lose that. So do not use a helmet ability, I would say. Or don't use any helmet ability uh, to put it on uh, put on Lavos because it just kind of fucks up your elemental game and you cannot use like viral or maybe gas or whatever it is because you lose one of the elementals uh, to kind of fuse together with your abilities. So yeah, that's basically my Lavos build. It's um, it came around pretty nice. I think it's pretty decent. Definitely want to take it on some mobile defense stuff. Might try steel pad, but you know, Lavos isn't built for doing some sort of that thing. It's supposed to be like a fun frame, and it definitely is a fun frame. But uh, what I did not know that it was going to be this much fun 
with just damaging enemies and shit like that. And also, here I was using normal weapons. I wasn't using a condition overload melee or something like a lot of nucor or calm or maybe something like a cedo to spread more status effects and if you have those weapons to spread more status effects of course you can get more damage out of your lavos and everything like that but i just wanted to see how much damage you can get out of just lavos so that's the test that i was doing on steel pad so yeah that's the that's my lavos build finally done uh that's it uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yep i will see you in the next one oh next one yeah